Hello and good day. Welcome to our video channel, God's Promises. And today's video will be a fast concise overview, Book of 2 Samuel, Chapter 4. Let's get started now. The Book of 2 Samuel tells the story of the reign of King David in Israel. Chapter 4 focuses on the aftermath of the assassination of Ishbosheth, the son of King Saul and David's rival for the throne. At the beginning of chapter 4, we learn that two men, Bana and Rechab, have assassinated Ishbosheth in his own home. They bring his head to David, hoping to earn his favor and perhaps even a reward. However, David is outraged by their actions and orders them to be executed for their treachery. The story of Ishbosheth's assassination raises several important themes and lessons for readers. One of the most obvious is the dangers of political ambition and greed. Bana and Rechab were motivated by their desire for power and influence, and they were willing to commit murder to achieve their goals. This serves as a warning about the corrupting influence of power and the lengths to which people will go to attain it. Another theme that emerges from this story is the importance of justice and morality. David recognizes that the actions of Bana and Rechab are morally wrong, and he takes steps to ensure that justice is served. He orders their execution sending a clear message that violence and treachery will not be tolerated under his rule. The story of Ishbosheth's assassination also highlights the importance of leadership and responsibility. David is the rightful king of Israel, and he recognizes that he has a responsibility to lead his people with wisdom and justice. He understands that the actions of his subjects reflect on him, and he takes swift action to ensure that justice is served and his authority is respected. Finally, the story of Ishbosheth's assassination teaches us about the dangers of divisiveness and strife. Israel was a nation divided, with factions and rivalries threatening to tear it apart. The assassination of Ishbosheth only served to exacerbate these divisions, deepening the rift between David and his enemies. This serves as a reminder that we must strive for unity and cooperation in our own lives working to build bridges and overcome differences rather than allowing ourselves to be consumed by strife and conflict. In conclusion, the story of Ishbosheth's assassination in 2 Samuel chapter 4 is a cautionary tale about the dangers of political ambition, the importance of justice and morality, the responsibilities of leadership, and the need for unity and cooperation in the face of division and strife. These themes and lessons continue to be relevant today reminding us of the importance of wisdom, courage, and compassion in our daily lives. Thank you for visiting us today. Please share with us your favorite Bible chapter below in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help our channel grow. Looking forward to see you back here for our next video. Always take good care.